Hey there. I'm going to show you the products that I used to make this awesome popcorn. Get that theater popcorn taste. And check these products out because exactly what's going to give you that theater popcorn taste tastes amazing. And I mean, mm, it's like really good. The products will give you that theater popcorn taste. Don't go out and, you know, use the oil from the store. You want to get the professional stuff. The supplies that you get, it's going to last you a long time, especially for the normal person. We're going to show you how to use the popcorn machine. This machine is called the Superior Popcorn Company. I got it on Amazon, and I'll put a link in this video showing you where to get this popcorn machine. It's quite simple. You got the three buttons here. You show the warmer, the stirrer, and the pot heater. It actually gives you instructions on there. And you also come with instructions in the box. In this, you get awesome popcorn bags, about 50 here. And we got three of the superior plastic containers. So first things first, turn your warmer in first. This turns the light on. That's the first thing you want to do. They have that light nice and warm. Now that light is going to get hot. So make sure you keep your hands away from that. The other thing you don't have to worry about in this machine is everything else getting hot. The glass does not get hot. This does not get hot. So if you have little kids like I do and they go to touch the outside, it's not gonna hurt them. The only thing that really does get hot, like I said, is the light. And then once you use and pop the popcorn, the kettle gets really hot. So do not touch that. And it even says on there, do not touch. You don't want to start the stir yet or the pot heater. You got to measure out your oil, put your oil in, then you start the pot heater. All right, now the cool thing about this machine is it comes with measuring cups. You got these measuring cups. One you measure the kernels with, the other one you measure your salt with, and the other you measure with your oil. This is an eight ounce kettle. Do two scoops of the kernels in this, and then do a whole scoop of the oil in the, in the big scooper. I'll show you. I'm using coconut oil and you want to put this in the kettle. This is the bigger scooper. You want flavor. This is what you're going to want. Put that in the kettle. We got the oil inside there. So we're ready to turn our warmer on. Leave the stir off right now. Just turn the pot heater on. That'll start warming up. You can kind of see when the oil will start to melt. When that oil is melted, you'll start seeing steam come from the pot. That's when you're going to want to enter your kernels and your salt. Then you turn on your stirrer. I'll show you that in a second. It's been about three, four minutes. And as you can see, I'm starting to get steam. And once you get that steam, that means it's time to add your kernels and add your salt. There it is, nice and steamy. And everything inside's all melted. This is just plenty. And you want to turn your stirrer on. Now the stirrer is moving around inside. Add your popcorn. Add the kernels inside there. And then add your salt. Slowly add the salt in. It's gonna mix around. Slowly mix it in. Stir is gonna move it all around for you. Close that up. Close the door. Let the magic happen. Thinking yeah. it's pretty much done. I'm gonna turn the pot heater off and the stir off. You don't want it to burn if you leave it on too long. Oh man, it smells so good. And then you just want to dump it. See, it's nice and empty. That's it. And you have fresh popcorn. Now, if you want to, you can add some salt to the top of that and then put butter. And now I'm just kind of mixing everything up. And then, you know, whatever leftover kernels, which there really aren't many, you can get caught in the catcher down here. Kind of keep the popcorn a little warmer. And well, there you have it. I'll show you the products that I use and check these products out because exactly what's going to give you that theater popcorn taste. I mean, honestly, this stuff tastes amazing. And I mean, it's really, hmm, it's good. Really good. I'm going to show you the products that I used to make this awesome popcorn. Now, if you're looking for quality popcorn kernels, you can go on Amazon. You're not going to find them in your local grocery store. I mean, unless you're lucky and your local grocery store has them. But big chains uh, like the Chicago area, Jewel, and then Walmart, stuff like that, you're not going to find them. You'll probably find Orville Redenbacher. You can go on Amazon. You can get great northern popcorn, um, at the movies popcorn, concession stand popcorn. What the theaters use is pure coconut oil. Now this one is yellow. It makes your popcorn yellow. It's solid. If you get it on Amazon, it is solid. But when you stick the spoon inside, almost like scooping out ice cream. But you can get this along with this. This is the salt, flavor call. You really want that taste. It's not like regular salt, like as you see. It's not supply of iodine. But you can get this on Amazon. Coconut oil, flavor call, and it's made by the uh, At The Movies 
popcorn. I also got this shaker. So when you're done, you can salt your popcorn in the end. Again, I'll provide the link down below. Also got this on Amazon. There's a lot of different flavors. This one's called glazed pop. And this is for caramel corn. I'll put a video up, um, you know, reviewing it. And there's a lot of different flavors you can get by this company, this glazed pop. They have all kinds of different ones. And you actually get, you know, combination packs on Amazon. This I picked up at Walmart. It's really good, movie theater butter. Tastes just like movie theater butter, to be honest with you. But otherwise, these are the products that I use. Salt shaker, pure coconut oil. Even if you don't use this exact brand, use pure coconut oil. The coconut oil, that's the magic. And then this one's colored yellow. You can use regular coconut oil. So if you want yellow, get the yellow coconut oil. But I'll provide links, flavor call, but this stuff's all on Amazon, including the popcorn machine. Superiorpopcorn.com, awesome popcorn machine. And if you have Amazon Prime, free two-day shipping. Who gives you free two-day shipping on a big buddy like this? How do you clean your popcorn machine? You got your popcorn machine here. After you get done using it, it seems pretty difficult. What would you do? Basically, paper towel and water. And this particular popcorn machine is rust-free, stainless steel. You can't go wrong with using a water washcloth. You think it'd be pretty hard, but it's actually real easy. I'll show you real quick. Now, whatever you do, do not submerge your kettle in water. Do not immerse in water. So basically, you just wipe it off, wipe it out, get the oil, the old kernels, and the salt out of it. That's about all you do, and then it's clean. You want to clean that out for sure. And there we have it. It's nice and clean. The next use, just by simply wiping it down, taking some time, probably about 20 minutes tops, honestly. So there you have it. That's it. Some water, paper towels, and it's pretty clean inside and out. It's all it takes. You think it'd be really messy with the oil, butter, all that stuff and salt. It's not really all too bad. It's just really simple. And along with the stainless steel and everything being glass on this popcorn machine, it's definitely very easy to upkeep, clean, and it doesn't deteriorate over time. If you want that theater popcorn, uh, just click on my links, subscribe. But man, I'm telling you, it is good.